things that we now take for granted, but were seen as radical and progressive in their day. And I think that foundation has been laid, and thanks need to be given to Sanders supporters yeah. and to Senator Sanders himself for putting this plat for putting this platform together, helping to put this platform together, and putting this party, putting this party on the right course for the 21st century, so that we can continue that great democratic tradition. So we leave this party united. We, we leave we leave this city united as a party, but we also leave committed to principles that have always made Democrats and the Democratic Party, the party that has led this country, that is responsible for... This election is not just about a few policy differences. It really is about the character of our country. It's a choice about who we believe we are as Americans and what this country stands for. Whether we embrace the democratic vision that wants to create opportunity for everyone that sees a diverse and growing America that's optimistic, or we choose one that is dark and limited and exclusive, the vision of Donald Trump. I know that in this from ballot measure to control weapons in California. The guy who's not going to lead the fight to legalize marijuana in California. The guy who believed that Mike Parker and I have 34 years deserve the right to be married and have our lives recognized by our government and tell them about our families. Well, I know I'm fighting to get your attention at this stage. I, I imagine on Thursday, said by a Democrat has been said, but obviously not by everybody. So let me try to fill in my point of view. You know, just very, very briefly, I, I was just up in uh, in Seattle, and anybody who's been up to Seattle, there's sort of a wonderful story about a billboard up in Seattle, one of the most congested freeways. Kind of analogous, mostly down in Los Angeles, the 405 freeway. Uh, and it was all the rage up there in Seattle when I was there. Campaign, by the way, for a lieutenant governor. Uh, there are, there's a future for lieutenant governors, not just, I hope, in our state, but all across the country. And, and the billboard says this. It says, you're not stuck in traffic. It's a big billboard. Big words. You're not stuck in traffic. Now, this is one of the most congested freeways in the Seattle area. And folks sort of roll up there, they meander, they get a little bit closer. And underneath the big bowl, letter said you're not stuck in traffic. Underneath it says you are traffic. Right? Think about that. What's that message? Folks out there in Washington State, Seattle say that message is self-evident. Society becomes how we behave. We are our behaviors. We are our broken systems. But we also are our optimism and opportunity. And it's a way of making this point. And I, I make this because I have to remind myself of this every day. What makes California special, what makes this party special, is all of you understand. I'm about to introduce a very, very extraordinary young man who comes from my district in Pasadena. I met Ryan Hampton. Uh, earlier this month, and he told me a story. He had a bright future. He was a White House intern. He had big dreams, but then he got a knee injury, and he was prescribed he was prescribed drugs that, that were addictive. Well, the drugs weren't enough, and finally he turned to heroin, and he was deeply addicted to the heroin. He fell to a huge degree, and in fact, became homeless. Uh, but then. He was one of the lucky ones. He, he actually got some help and recovered. But what was even more extraordinary about Ryan is that as he was recovering, he met Hillary Clinton. And he told her how much help addicts need in this country in response to the opioid addiction. And that's when he decided that he was going to run to be a delegate at the Democratic National Convention. So, guess what he did? He brought all his recovering addict friends 
to the actual delegate vote. And he came in number one. Now he is doing a documentary. He has actually gone from Pasadena to Philadelphia, and he stopped at cities across America to talk to recovering addicts to hear their story. And this documentary will be coming out any day. This, this young man is just amazing. So please, let me introduce you 